Today marks the 24th anniversary of Susan Poupart's disappearance. The 29 year old mother of two was last seen alive in Lac de Flambeau. Her murdered remains were later found in a dense cedar swamp. No one has ever been charged for her murder. The Lac de Flambeau tribal president says there are still open wounds in the community and people still talk about the cold case on a daily basis. It was devastating to the community. In 1990, 29 year old Susan Poupart disappeared from Lac de Flambeau. Six months later, her murdered remains were found in a densely wooded area of the Shawamigan National Forest. They've uh, waited and waited, you know, months. First of all, it was days, then months. Susan Poupart reportedly left this home on Mukwa Drive behind me in the early morning hours of May 20th. Two men were going to drive her to her home on Little Pines Road, but instead they say that they dropped her off at the Lac de Flambeau Elementary School. People have been, the fingers have been pointing at uh, different people in the community and no resolution. The public has also waited for some resolution. Since 2007, people driving north into Lac de Flambeau have been greeted by a billboard pleading for information. It started at uh, the billboard out there uh, on Highway 47. That billboard got folk singer Bobby Bullitt St. Germain thinking about Susan Poupart. He wanted to write a song about the case so no one would forget her. Susie, come on, old girl. You must be tired, but dry your eyes. Part of the song says, she's one of us. That's what it means. Like, and I think it says in the Bible, when the sparrow falls, all creation feels that and knows it. Investigators hope local radio stations will play Bobby Bullitt's song about Susie Poupart. They hope it will inspire people to come forward with more information. The weakness of mankind shakes in the light. The truth has no boundaries. To the perpetrators or the people that have information, you know, that they are holding deeper inside them, that they come out and sort of cleanse their soul. We still have the tears that have not been dried yet from the eyes of some of the relatives. Oh, how we miss you, can you hear that eagle cry? In a Newswatch 12 exclusive tomorrow night at 5 and 10, hear from investigators about new developments in the case. And for the first time ever, investigators have released crime scene photos to us. See them and the exact place where Susan Poupart's remains were left in the forest.